Uh, we were talking to uh, the lovely Michaela from Mavis and Mick down in that. Uh, she's got stores right across that band there. There's one in Cambridge. Uh, there's one in Waihe. There's one in Tiaomuji. She's still at Tiaomuji store. Yep. Um, so if you are floating through that area to go to Mystery Creek, uh, I actually think her stores might be closed and she's got a pop-up there, I think she was saying. So, uh, yeah, she's pretty excited about uh, catching up with a few of you ladies that might be floating around that Mystery Creek, um, that area there. It's a big, big setup. Thousands of people go to that. Amazing. So we're thinking, um, probably wouldn't wear this outfit to Mystery Creek because it does get really, really muddy there. I would actually wear a really dark sneaker or a gum boot or something that you can let the mud dry and just kind of crack it off. Uh, anyway, what the what, uh, girls did say to me is, why don't you put on style Nikita with what you've got on? Uh, because you do have that slight elevation with the platform on it. Um, and so that's what I've done. I've actually put my foot into a size 36 because we've got, we, I think we may, might not have a 37. Um, so yeah, loving that, uh, the two-tone of the sole and um, and that lovely ivory upper. Of course, you've got the workable features up on the outside and then you've got the inside zip as well. So you can actually literally unzip uh, both sides to it's get- very flattering on your- In and out of it. Um, I've got my little sock underneath, um, my little short frill sock. Yeah, so so you can, you could style this down here a bit if you wanted a bit more drama, depending on um, what you're actually wearing. But they are lovely and comfortable. They're really nice and lightweight. Um, and they do have that flex in the sole, which is super, super lovely. Uh, now you will be wearing, this is what, you will be noticing, this is what I um, am wearing on the other foot. This is our lovely Viper boot um, that came in just recently. I say lovely, but um, we're a bit disappointed that there, it came through with a few marks. So we've got, for those ladies that love this boot and are quite interested, we have a couple of seconds here um, at the shop. So they're only available at the shop if you, um, yeah, that, yeah, if you wanted to give Nay a call, she could probably hook you up mm -hmm. with a bit of a deal. What did you mm -hmm. say, 180? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to whisper 180 because um, they are a premium just arrived now boot um, and we do have them at the full price as well. So they've just got little marks. So you just need to phone in if you want to grab a deal on that. Uh, and then Nikita nay has got the other colourway here for you to have a look at, this gorgeous rust colour. Um, actually, what I didn't mention too is I've got this lovely elastic in through the back. So you do get that nice firm fit around your uh, ankle shape there, which is really, really nice. And I think you uh, commented on that being quite flattering. Yeah. Um, so that's a, the lovely rust shade there. Uh, so speaking of May, we've got her here. She's all looking fabulously gorgeous in mm -hmm. her little Coco Chanel inspired yes. um, skirt there. So yes, we still have our beautiful yeah. chill skirts, our Swan Lake chill skirts. Uh, this is a beautiful, gorgeous winter, uh, winter five colorway here. Uh, it's got a blush pink in it. It's got like um, gray, black, a little hint of sort of uh, minty blue undertones in there as well. And it's a double layer, so you get all that kind of, um, you know, you get that, that pattern on pattern layer, which is quite nice. Because if you saw just one single layer of it, it is almost kind of a tartany print to it. Um, and then the underlayer is that blush tone there. So Nay's got that on with a dark uh, hosiery mm -hmm. uh, and her black top mm -hmm. and then the lovely little new Oxford mm -hmm. um, brogue lace-up. Now, Nay just did mention that this is this shoe is plastered all over the Repertory website at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if you need more styling tips and tricks or to see how else you might want to wear this um, lovely little brogue, um, you yeah, have a little look on their website. Uh, so it's just arrived in here for us as well. You're looking at a black patent. Um, love the wedgie sole of this. Yeah, very, very comfortable mm -hmm. on. Um, mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a really sort of tailored kind of look. And I like it, I like it worn back with a skirt like this, so you're giving it a slightly more feminine look um, yeah. and feel to it. And of course, so comfortable. Yeah, it'll look nice with, um, you know, with jeans, weekend mm. jean kind of look and a blazer. Yeah. Um, I can imagine it looking really good like that as well. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we've got, in that kind of man-tailored sort of roguey look too, we've got some other options for you ladies. Um, so this here is obviously our style Grace, named after our in-house in, in styly Grace. 
Is that a play on words? Kind of, <laughs> sort of. Uh, love all the little black parts on this uh, and that, that beautiful winter uh, winter gold uh, colour there. And then the Eloise, style Eloise. So we've had a few comments about how to potentially wear this back with your outfit. So I, it does have black running through the sole there. So it does allow you to wear this black back quite nicely with a black outfit. Uh, equally, you know, you could uh, pop it on with like your uh, skirt and tights or a skirt and a little frilly sock um, as well. And then that's your lovely khaki green tie. Um, which again is going to look that amazing with your black. Uh, right, so um, we've got Ella. She has, she's all like, oh yeah, looking slightly military. Yeah. Military with the blazing here. Yeah, yeah um, love this maxi um, man tailored military kind of jacket yeah. <coughs> for winter. Mm -hmm. And you even chose the little Dales, yeah. which is, yep, because of the buttons on your. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all making good sense here, Ella. It does look really cool. Mm -hmm. And um, we're seeing it here with the trouser, and this is exactly how it was designed to be worn. So um, if, if uh, Ella moves up her trouser just a little bit, you can see that it's quite a simple little Wait. ankle boot um, in through the back of it. And then when you drop your pant down, you can see the detailing of that monk style coming through here. So you get all the comfort of this being an inside zipper boot. So we'll just show you the inside zipper on that. So you can see here, it's easy to get in and out of. And then you've got that monk style um, crossbar on it going across the foot there. Uh, so round toe, mm -hmm. square sole, like a really cool edgy look. So it's quite a simple style, but has that edginess of that square toe. Yeah, yeah. it's comfortable. Yeah, definitely a lot of nice room. Yep, it's a full rubber outsole yep. on that, so it is really, really spongy. Yep. Um, yeah, and really, really last, like you were saying. Actually, we can even talk about Renee's Oxford. So what size oh, are you? 41. In? You're in a 41 in that Oxford. So yeah, that's good to know. True mm -hmm. uh, yeah, size. I find all this last true to size. Yeah. 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 That's good feedback. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, uh, some of you ladies may have noticed a post by XLab uh, today. They're online. They're online. Good morning. How are you? We miss you. Uh, we saw a lovely post of, um, oh, yeah. yeah, on the on the runway. Actually, I wonder if we... Oh, it doesn't really matter. We can put in a link to that post and we may even have something we can put up where. Uh, but they profiled a new boot that isn't actually out yet. So we wanted to uh, let you know, just in case you were the magpies that you are, um, and you wanted to kind of have a little close up. Well, you can hold it. You can be my assistant. Oh, lovely. Uh, so you may recognise the style of upper. It's obviously uh, style Wesley is what it's called, and it's based on our famous Willet boot. Mm -hmm. Although it doesn't have the five centimetre internal lift on it, it is just um, hand stitched to the actual sole here. So you've got our typical stitched up sole. It's really lovely, lightweight um, feeling on. Mm -hmm. A very good tra uh, traveling boot. Um, you'll see here it's got the dual zippers, so they're nice and easy to get in and out of. Great for those busy real estate ladies that need to get in and out of houses. All those caregivers that need to uh, get out in and out of houses, in and out of shoes, I need to say, boots and shoes. Uh, what I also love about this is the contrast of the suede bumper and then the napa. Uh, leather and through the main part of the shoe there. You see all this beautiful hand stitching. So there's a lot of work gone into this little boot, um, but it's a very minimalistic, understated little look. Yep. Um, so we have coming in, Grace, is that going to be end of June, beginning of July? Beginning of July. Beginning of July, um, this little booty will be coming in there. I think the girls, because XA have put up the post already, uh, the girls are going to put it on pre-order. Oh, it's up. Fabulous. <laughs> so um, it's up on pre-order. You can go and have a little uh, reserve your pair now um, for these. But just remember, it's not going to come until that sort of late June, early July period. Uh, sizing, you should be the same size as your stitched up. Mm -hmm. So just to refresh your memories what a stitched up is, let's go and have a quick look. Oh, it's taking it you on a wild goose chase. I'm taking you on a wild goose chase. So this is your stitched up here. Um, I believe too this year, some very exciting news, all of these are going to come with a spare set of insoles as well. So some of you need to have a little bit more elevation in through this last because it's such a generous fitter. Mm -hmm. So it will come with a little sliver, a spare sliver of insole in here. Um, so yeah, so they are, I think most people have been pretty true to size, haven't they? Mm -hmm. uh, and they're stitched up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. through 37, stay 37, 41, stay at 41 now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that yeah. might be a bit of uh, guideline for you for the little uh, Leslie style here. So yeah, 
Do you like it? What do you think, ladies? It's pretty, pretty cute. Cool. Yeah. Um, just with the uh, pre-order. Yes. Uh, we just might need to clarify that there is a allocation of numbers. It's not a pre-order, as in you're gonna. Right. So I think there's just a so little bit of confusion with the. What yeah. yeah. Um, so that's a really good chatting point, actually. So um, what we do here at the HQ is we actually. A month ago, actually put an order on for here for the store. Uh, usually, I don't know. It's usually about a, a two to three, two to three pairs of a size. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so yeah. so once you've clicked on that, the numbers slowly, uh, slowly or quickly in some cases mm -hmm. go down, mm -hmm. uh, and then you you may miss your size. So, yeah. but there will be retailers that have got this on order. And um, and we, yeah, you put that in the yep. description. So so yeah. So if you miss out or you don't want to pre-order it mm -hmm. now, and you want to find out where your local retailer is going to be that's yep. having these, mm -hmm. uh, all the information will be in the description part on the website for the stuff. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So if anyone's going to Mystery Creek, let us know uh, how it is. I believe it starts on Thursday. I could be wrong. It could be tomorrow. I'm not really too sure. I should have got my facts in front of me. Um, and yeah, do make sure you go and see Michaela because uh, it's a big effort going and set up, setting up these pop-ups at those kind of events. Uh, anyway, ladies, I, I think that's about it for now. I hope you have a good day. Stay warm wherever you are in the country and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye.